Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the farm vlog. Uh, today, oh man, it's just it's so wonderful to be able to step outside, hear the birds, and uh, just take a breath of this fresh air. The sun's shining. It's a little chilly this morning, but we are going to be busy. Um, we're kind of holed up at home right now, working from home here and there. So we're going to try to get the uh, projects that we got on our list knocked out uh, on this beautiful weekend uh, we can't really be out and about too much anyway so why not try to get some stuff done i've been gathering up some supplies already this morning i got some concrete here i got this gasoline post driver and if you guys been uh, watching on the community page and stuff on youtube or maybe even on some of our facebook posts i don't know if you guys see the tractor back there or not uh, anyways we're building some more fencing and uh we're trying to get it knocked out while we're home and uh you know can't really run around much anyway but this is the project we needed to get done so i'm trying to gather up some supplies and uh, right now i ran into a uh i guess you could say a rocky situation and i've been uh driving some of these two and three eight steel posts in with this gasoline post driver but on one of my corner posts i wasn't able to do that so i got the back over there i got a big hole dug but the bucket on my uh, tractor is way too big so now what i got to do is build a form so i don't just waste a lot of concrete so uh, that's one thing we're going to do today um i got to grab a shovel and i'm going to get over there and try to do this i've never actually built a form for like a post hole i have always dug it with post hole diggers by hand and then you know the hole's not that big around so i don't waste a lot of concrete but this hole is huge so anyway that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to build two different fences i got some gates uh, we're not going to get done today, but this is something that I've already been working on uh, about every evening this week when it hasn't been raining. So uh, stay along for this adventure. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. And while I am thinking about it, uh, if you guys were ever interested in buying any of our shirts or our hats or our merch, is what the kids like to say, um, go to www.hiddenheightsfarm.net. Uh, that's a new store we just got online we just got online like last this last week and uh, we've already sold some stuff on there so we have limited supply right now if we do sell enough then i'll get some more stuff made if not then i probably won't worry about it but if you guys want to check that out go ahead and check that out i'll leave a description or a link down in the description below and uh for those of you that have already bought some stuff thank you very much and uh i'm gonna quit talking and get busy so i'm back out here where we're trying to set some of these posts and as you guys can see here this is one of the still posts I got driven in the ground. Uh, I got it driven in about two foot or so, but you can see it is really rocky in this little part of our pasture. And I got this dug down pretty good, almost three feet deep. And this is where I need to set a form so I don't waste a lot of concrete. I don't know if you guys can hardly tell how big that hole is, but it's uh, pretty wide. And uh, if we just put a post in there and pour concrete, it won't... Uh, cover very much it'll just spread out instead of being deep on the post so uh i'm going to try to rig up some kind of a form to put this on there because this is going to be the uh, very end h brace corner post and it's going to have a lot of tension on it and you can see i got my string here and we are going about 270 feet straight that way so uh yeah the goats i got this string pulled and the goats keep trying to go back and forth and uh stretching it out and moving it on me so I'm gonna get all right guys I got the post kind of uh, leveled and plumb and I got the form kind of just temporary in there just some boards kind of holding it I just wanted to see what it looked like you can see there it's gonna take a lot less concrete in that little part than it will be to fill this whole thing up so I got the post where it needs to be hopefully it'll stay there I might put some dirt uh, shovel some dirt around the bottom of this corrugated metal here that's just a piece of scrap that I had left over when we built the barn, just a piece of corrugated tin. Um, I think it's gonna work out. This is very important to have this one very secure in here. I do have this H brace or this other post. I'm gonna make this an H brace. So I'm gonna weld a cross member in between. And uh, this one's gonna have all the tension on it when I pull it that, that way. And it's important to have tight fences. So I'm gonna go get some uh, water in a five gallon bucket from the pond. And start dumping a little bit of this quick crete in here a little bit at a time i got these 80 pound bags and we'll just mix it up a little bit at a time make sure our form kind of stays um i've never actually done posts by digging a hole with a backhoe 
we've always done it by hand with pickaxes and post hole diggers up here in these rocks it sucks digging holes i promise uh, but this is going to save me a lot of time uh, i might have to use a little more material because now i got a way bigger hole but if you think about it that is the reason i'm doing this form i'm just going to pour the concrete inside the form inside the metal instead of this whole area here because uh we want it to come up on the post and what i'll do once it starts setting a little bit i'll come back with all this dirt and rocks and kind of backfill on top of it and pack it down good with the tractor tires i'll drive over it a few times make sure it stays level and then we'll build our h brace up whenever this thing dries so i'm gonna go get a bucket of water from the pond and start mixing this stuff up so the other day i posted a little two minute video of me pushing a tree that i just cut down with the tractor well this is the tree and as you can see it's right it was kind of right in the way uh this is where we're gonna have one of our gates is going to be right here and then one of the gates is going to be right here and it's going to be split down this way and uh this fence will go that way but anyways this tree was kind of right in the way and i just wanted to get it kind of out of the way so i went ahead and cut it down for now and i needed to push it over here well as soon as i cut it down you can see it's just an old elm tree and these daggum buds right here the goats were going crazy for them so they would not get off this tree. They were stand, literally standing on all these branches. Little babies were up in the tree and stuff. And I needed to get this out of the way. So I hooked a chain onto it. And I started pulling it. And them things still wouldn't get off of it. So I was like, well, Rachel's recording it. I didn't really make a video of it all. But she was recording some of it with her phone. Just because she thought it was funny. So I went ahead and posted that little short video on uh, YouTube. But anyway, that was the story of the tree and the goats playing tug of war with me. Yesterday's happiness gets nearer. The light that we see closing in so fast ahead. It's hope, it's getting clearer. The more I think of all the tough times we survived, the more it makes me smile. If nothing's broken us, you yeah, nothing ever will. Cause dreams are hard to kill. Okay, so I got four bags, which is 320 pounds poured down in here. And uh, I'm gonna let this set up probably maybe overnight before I fill this hole back in and uh, I'll fill all that back in and pack it down good and it should be secure uh, you guys seen what it's like working on these projects when you got all these goats around it's like having 30 little two-year-olds in your way all the time uh, you know asking a bunch of questions except these guys don't talk they're just being nosy they heard me uh, they heard me grab a bag of that quick creep and of course they assume it's just feed so I got 30 some goats over here in my face trying to do all this trying to keep that post level and uh <laughs> they're sitting right in front of the camera I had the camera set up you guys seen it trying to film it all and of course they want to get right in my way so i'm gonna let this kind of set i got some more posts i need to go get the gates and kind of do my measurements for those and i can start driving some more posts with the post driver and i think i'm gonna have to shed this hoodie here in a little bit it was supposed to be only in the highs of 50 something today but the sun's out and uh it is super super warm and i uh, just seen something i want to show you guys so i was sitting i just seen something sparkling on the ground i looked down and this is just a type of flint rock we got here but i don't know if you guys can see that sparkle or not on there i don't know if you guys can even see that but pretty cool little rocks some of the rocks we got in this area All right guys, so I've tried like five, six different places right here. Um, the cross braces I have are seven foot long, so I can cheat from seven foot in. I wanna stay within five and a half feet wide though, just where, when I pull tension on these H braces. This right here isn't a very long pull, but it's still gonna have a lot of tension on it. So now I'm gonna have to dig this by hand. I don't wanna dig it with the tractor. 
Uh, this one is very important because I'm going to have a gate right here. So on this end of the pipe, there's going to be a gate. So there's going to be a weight on it. So I need to be able to get this one deep enough. And I couldn't, I could only get about a foot and a half with the post driver. So now I'm going to try to dig this by hand and then we'll uh, get as far as we can. We'll try the post driver again and then we'll concrete it in. That's what I was hitting right here is a tree root. Oh, there's one rock. <clears throat> I'd like to get at least two feet. But sometimes that's a challenge up here when you hit these solid rocks. All right guys, so we came over here to where the cross, the cross fencing is gonna be. Uh, the last two holes I've had to dig by hand and uh, that wears you out up here in these rocks and hopefully we got them deep enough. We got them concreted in and we came over here and this one went almost three feet in the ground just with the post driver, so no problem. Um, we're trying to space all of our H braces, our posts six feet apart. So once we get this one done, um, We'll go back up there and do the H brace coming this way. And uh, hopefully this one drives in just as good as that. This ground over here, luckily it's like in a low spot and it's not real rocky. Well, that little part right there wasn't. So I'm gonna put these on and uh, get to driving. Hopefully this goes good.
our fencing is 48 inches tall and that's without a uh, strand of barbed wire on top so i want to leave it a little bit just in case we got to do that that's 51 and a quarter I think it's gonna be good. That one's 53. So I'm gonna knock this one down just a hair. And that's the way it's supposed to go and that makes our life a lot easier when you can drive these posts in three foot and no problems at all just with the gas post driver okay so we came back over here to do the other end of this h brace and down here i've tried like five different spots and it won't even go like six inches in the ground so there's a, there's a big rock right there it's going to be a lot more trouble and a waste of time so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the backhoe over here and I'm gonna dig another hole, which is gonna be a big hole. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to keep the side of the hole no more than right there. So that way the post hopefully will be like right here and this wall will be right there kind of as a support. Uh, we'll, we'll see, cause we're gonna have a giant hole. We're gonna have to build a form again. So <laughs> the last two went so easy and then you got stuff like this, so. Oh. There's our level. <laughs> it's on the back side of this post. We were looking for the level and uh, couldn't find it. And there it is. It was hiding. So I'm going to get the back hoe and we'll move this string and get to digging. one big solid rock he is just trying to scrape away here so that's why we hate building fence or property in that right Kevin yeah it's just pretty much solid rock about uh, 12 to 16 inches down right here and now I don't even have rock teeth on this bucket but I'm just trying to chip away at the rock to uh, get the depth that we need to get and then uh, we'll have to build the form and then uh, concrete this thing in I gotta get a little deeper though what do you think Caleb it's cool it's cool. It's not so cool having to build fence in it. That's a lot of work. All right, I'm gonna get busy. All right, get away from the bucket. Safety first. All right, so we got our form. Now we're gonna pour some more concrete in here. Get it. I'm about to get some water. Tadpoles in there. Well, there's a tadpole in there? Yeah.
What'd you call this? Redneck concrete form? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> As long as it holds the concrete in. All right, guys, we finally got the last post driven in. Um, Rachel, if you want to turn around and show them these two posts here behind the Ranger, one went a lot farther than the other one. This one went over two feet, and this one here is almost right at two feet, which is fine. Uh, this one's good and solid. This one drove right into this tree root, so it's good and solid for now. Uh, I think it'll be fine. No further than we're pulling, but we got a lot of cleanup to do. I still got to go get the uh, roll-off wheel. And what that does is it measures uh, the distance, every rotation like a foot or how, whatever it is. But it has a little meter on there. And uh, <clears throat> that way I will know the feet between all these H braces. And then I can calculate the uh, amount of T-post we're going to need. I'll probably space them at 8 feet. <clears throat> and then we'll go that way as well. Uh, we're going to let this set. We got that H brace over there, that corner post. The first one you guys see me build the form and uh, concrete around. We got it filled in with dirt and packed back down. This one here, I'll let it set tonight and then tomorrow I'll come back and uh, get some good dirt. All this uh, right here is just one big rock that I kept breaking off in chunks. So you don't want to put that back in the hole because it won't do any compaction or actually hold that big piece of concrete I got around the post down so what i'll do is there's some places right over here where the land's a little bit higher these are some old dozer windrows where they just came in and dozed the straight line and stuff but anyways you can see all these little terraces right here in the land i'll come in with the tractor bucket and get some of this most of it's just pure dirt there'll be a few rocks in there but i'll get that and then i'll start uh piling it in there i'll let this concrete set a couple days and uh, then we'll start uh, stretching fence. But I don't have any T-posts, so I'm going to get the T-post count and uh, go to the store and get those. Hopefully I can stay uh, safe, safely away, my distance or social distancing or whatever. There shouldn't be too many people at Tractor Supply. But anyways, once I get that, I'll get my T-post driven. I've already got my string stretched out. And then probably in a few days, we can start stretching this wire. Uh, after all this concrete dries really good and we're gonna get our gates mounted and all that and then uh, we'll be able to put the animals that we're gonna put in here I think it's still kind of a secret so uh, anyways guys like I said earlier if you're new to the channel subscribe please I gotta get a sandwich or something to eat <clears throat> using all my uh, energy out here driving these posts and digging these dang rocks up but uh yeah stay tuned for this project we got some other stuff we got to do we might make another video this evening and uh We'll be busy all weekend. Hopefully the weather stays nice. It wasn't supposed to get this warm today, but it did. So uh, leave a comment down below, like this video, and we'll see you next time.